Good morning and welcome back to Simon Says Farms. Today is a really exciting day and one I've been looking forward to for about two months now. Today we have the vet coming out to do ultrasounds on our possibly pregnant goats. So we're gonna confirm pregnancy with them, hopefully through ultrasound. If not, we do blood work as backup. Um, one of the common questions I get when, after you've bred a goat is, well, how do I know if she's pregnant? So you've waited your 18 to 21 days to see if your goat has come back into heat. And if she hasn't, then you're gonna wanna wait a little longer so that you can do an ultrasound. So we wait 45 days is generally the minimum that you wanna wait so you can see the actual little embryos in mom. And really one of the other reasons we like to ultrasound is not just to confirm pregnancy, but we can really tailor their nutrition towards the end of their pregnancy better if we know that they're carrying twins or triplets, especially if they're only carrying a singleton, you really don't want to up their grain very much if they only have one, because all of that extra nutrition will go to one baby instead of two or three babies. And there's big problems if you've got one giant baby in there for mom to get it out safely. So today, the vet's gonna come out and we're gonna do these ultrasounds. What are you writing down? Notes? My notes. Who's okay. pregnant? With how many? Possibly how many? I think I saw it to right, the right side of the it's screen. It's right up there. I can't see it up there. Right up there. Yes, there's right the babies. There. Okay. Wow. Yep, there's one. Yep. Yep, there's one. Is that another there. sack right below it? Yep, I think we got two. Good girl, Sage. Hang on, let me get up. You gotta see where I have this ultrasound. Yep, there it, it is. It's crazy it's up so high. There's one right there. Yep. And then let's just move over this way. Move a little bit. Is that our sister down I below? I see that there? one yep. moving. That one that right one there. That one didn't go down. And then that one over there? Nope, down a little bit further. This way? Nope, to over right there. Over. Where this? Ah, right there. Right there. My head. Yep, yep. I so see that it. was really <laughs> exciting. The vet just finished up with the ultrasounds on the goats, and it turns out that all eight of our girls are pregnant. And most of them, at least on ultrasound, are expecting twins. Yay! High five, boys. You did a great job. So everybody's going to be due in um, middle of March. So like the 14th through the 22nd of March. It should be a really busy time here. Um, hi, Charlie. Nope, just trying to have a conversation. Weirdo. So. <laughs> uh, so we're really excited that everybody's pregnant and everybody's really healthy and the embryos look really healthy. So um, we will count down the next 100 days and kind of walk you through our process on how to get the girls ready to kid um, nutrition wise. You know, it can be kind of a fine line. We do have a little bit of a soap opera story here with Charlotte. Um, now that she's confirmed pregnant, we actually don't know who the dad is. So we have um, two possibilities and we're going to have to wait till the babies are born before we can kind of tell who fathered these babies. So stay tuned for that. That should be interesting. It'll be even more interesting if one comes out the father of our Alpine and the other one is fathered by the La Mancha. It's just, you can't make this up. So um, that's it for today. Um, if you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We're gonna put that right here. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave those below in the comment section. And we will see you next time. Bye.